I'm Kent Chapman. I'm a professor in the biology department. Uh, I'm serving as coordinator for the uh, research cluster plant signaling mechanisms. Plants, uh, unlike us, uh, are unable to move around and they must endure whatever environment they're in. And so UNT has made a uh, major research investment in plant signaling mechanisms. Um, and this is an important uh, area of research particularly in understanding the basic mechanisms by which plants perceive their environment and then alter their growth or their responses to the environment. This is, this is very important in terms of how plants withstand environmental stresses and as uh, global climate change occurs, climates become warmer, drier. Some of the research that we're doing will help us understand how plants respond to these environments so that we can maintain crop yields and even enhance crop yields under these more stressful conditions. One of the major advantages of developing this research cluster has been the construction of a new life sciences wing. In fact, we have open laboratories such that our students and our staff interact with one another and more efficiently use the instrumentation that we have available. Uh, this has been important for, uh, for a collaborative environment. In addition, there is a series of state-of-the-art air-conditioned greenhouses on the top of the building. Uh, these are individual cells that allow for conditions to be very finely regulated so that um, we can do experiments with plants and expose them to just the conditions that we want to test. And understanding the basic mechanisms by which plants control their own growth and development gives us new strategies for uh, helping design crops or breed crops that can grow faster or under uh, different conditions. Uh, understanding how plants respond to their environment can help us tailor our management practices in the field, providing protection against pests, management in terms of environmental conditions, or, or applying uh, fertilizers to the crops in just the right amount so that we minimize any environmental impact from excess runoff. Science moves ahead by the new knowledge that we gain from, from our research laboratories and then the application of that knowledge to sort of real world uh, situations. Uh, but it moves incrementally by the publication of our results, the development of new ideas or new hypotheses, and then the testing of those hypotheses and new information that not only we can use but others in the, in the field can use as well and build on.